there's an ongoing topic brewing in the beat making music production community the two that we'll discuss on this video are loop cloud and splice between these two i mean there are tons of other platforms that you can purchase samples and loops from but these are probably like the most common i would say or the ones that i use splice being the most familiar loop cloud is not shortcomings behind that so which one is better that is a common topic and both of them does the same exact thing pretty much they deliver samples right they both have a subscription base thing where you pay monthly and you uh, accumulate certain amount of points and whatnot but there are subtle differences now with loop cloud the thing with them is that you are allowed to add compression reverb you can go in and load up your your samples that you're looking at you can cut and you can pitch up and down you you can slow things up speed things up change the octave add like did i say add compression reverb i mean if if you look at the list here the different these are the different presets for the compression you can add delay eq you can add a filter grain stretch panner you can, reverb tone box tone box is one of the ones i like and and you can load this thing up which is different things right Th these are the things that you can add on to the sample before you even bring it in see what they sound like you can bring them in with this processing or you can do it yourself inside your doll but this is pretty cool this is pretty much like doll it's it's like a doll like you can literally build a beat inside of loop cloud is crazy because they also allow you eight different other tracks you can mute one if you you know what i mean you can switch them out like i say you can move stuff around chop them you know in here <laughs> it's, it's crazy like that right then we have splice oh by the way there's a can get something free until monday um the date of this video i happen to be doing this on black friday but anyway splice being a common one i i would say is is more so known in the urban community but it's not limited to that I, like i say you can you can find all types of stuff on here different like ambient sounds orchestral sounds drums loops different samples vocals you know both platforms to do the same thing but the cool thing about Splice is that they also allow you to buy plugins. There's leasing options here for different plugins. So if there's a plugin that you were trying to buy, like for me, for instance, I bought Serum. So I own Serum and I went through this program and I paid maybe 10 bucks a month until I paid it down. And now I own Serum. You know what I mean? So that is the, the leg up with splice allowing you to do that you also have different like projects that you can like collaboration options opportunities is here as well and the other thing uh about this is that it saves it backs up your projects i've worked on countless ableton live projects studio one projects and they all save here and so i think that it depends on the doll that you're using because i also use bitwig and i haven't seen the option here so so far these are the three that i see but these are also the ones i have on my system i also have bitwig like i say but i don't see it here so maybe if you use reason or pro tools or i don't know if that option will become available but just know that <laughs> there is an option to back up your projects but don't quote me because you might be working in a dog that so don't don't go and grab Splice because, oh, yeah, Ellip said it back up on project. You want to check and make sure that Splice supports that. And, yeah, it, so that that is the leg up with them in, in terms of, like, all of the, and I'm pretty sure they do more. There's more options here. But that is really the main difference between both of them. Which one to get? That's really up to you. I have them both, obviously. I use them both. I find value in having both of them. They, they both kind of do something a little bit different, but they are the same in terms of finding something that will fit your project 
finding things that fit the project is not the issue between either or of these platforms it just depends on what you would rather go with so like like i say different genres in here you can see it supports all of them trap soul dance hall reggaeton disco electro deep house you know what i mean the list goes on inside of loop cloud these are different genres here dubstep future bass it also supports trap in here trip hop jingle r&b garage i didn't know that was a thing but anyway you got pop future pop reggae hip-hop soul r&b techno yeah so the list goes on now the other thing with loop cloud is that they have a companion plugin that you can upload inside of your doll and what it does is as you look for samples it matches the tempo that you currently have so that means when you checking out different samples it's almost like you're in your native doll browser and you get to hear what things sound like according to the bpm you currently have which is a really cool thing i'm not sure if splice doing it i think splice is doing that but don't quote me on that i didn't I never tried it but that is a powerful feature because you can just sample stuff as you as you go and that's just how this works also they have a couple of plugins instrument plugins like there's a drum machine and then there's a synthesizer in here and it's pretty cool i use it sometimes on my live stream speaking of live stream you guys should be subscribed to the channel because we make beats fly from scratch on a stream and we use things like this we take different plugins that we that we, that we constantly use in a real world situation and loop cloud and or splice is one of those platforms that i'm using to grab samples to create new beats so subscribe oh one more last thing i forgot to mention i just released my new project it's called the journey it's a low five vibe and it will be available december 2nd so i would love that everybody go ahead and pre-save it in your playlist that will help me out tremendously if you like what i've shown here on this video in terms of these different platforms there is affiliate links also in the description where you can grab that and when you go through those affiliate links it helps me out small portion goes to me doing this free video that you're watching on free youtube well that's it that's all i have for you guys my name is ella creative sound creative university remember me music is art you the artist paint your picture stay creative with our rules talk to y'all soon